can barely see a thing. You look fuzzy. Margravine Sella, the meanest Devil Cards player in the buttery seas. Trying to cross the ravine, are ya? I know there's an invisible bridge over it, but I can't see it without my magical eyeglasses. I lost them to some coiled, and I just know they cheated. Can you go get them back? I only need the one lens to read the other player's cards. I'll craft the other into a monocular telescope for you. There, that will let you see the coiled invisible bridges. Built for things all over the place. Found the bridge, did you? Keep your eyes open, 
There's more to be found all over. Ready to cast. Sunlight have crept down to this, the deepest trench of the ocean depths. Woo! I just remembered! You're gonna be one of my favorite characters. I remember when I was your favorite. See how that turned out? Watch your back, Fate Maker. Or you might find some fangs in it.
for you. She seems to wish you no harm. What are you doing down here, smooth skin? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a little salt on the way she said smooth skin. I'm offended, I think. Honestly, I don't even see what the big deal is about having skin. Sometimes skin's too dry, sometimes skin's too wet. Ugh, no thanks. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. It's a skin thing. Okay, the next person to say skin is spontaneously combusting! She said it first! It's a free ocean. I can traipse through it as I please. I am sorry. It has been a very long time since I spoke with anyone. Of course, you seek passage. I can aid you. Here, take this cipher. Now, gaze upon the shrine and let the words flow through you. Your drill, your. Uh, my mouth tastes like ash now. Only the coiled may be granted passage through the drowned abyss. This cipher grants you our speech. There are three more shrines. You must intone their words aloud before the doors to the Temple of Sacrifice will open. This was once a sacred place to me and my sisters. Long ago, when we shared skies, before the days of chains, before the drowning. You must reach the Temple of Sacrifice. Inside is a light that will grant us passage. Okay, she's creeping me out a little. And not just because she used the S word. Yeah, she's got too many proper nouns going on. Chains, drowning, sacrifice. What? No! She's great! I really want you to like her! Well, you first trusted the skeleton man just fine? Uh, yeah, he was a pirate. Okay, well, with your detect intent ability, you can tell that she's a real sweetheart who's honest and trustworthy, and you love her. Yeah, but the priestess class has the conceal intent ability. Song. They lured my men into their foul nest, and unto their doom I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have saved them, my own self, but I got trapped here when the whole lumen drink exploded and dropped this flotsam on me. Was it Jetsam? Either way, please <laughs> oh, put my men out of their inscorsal misery and in those twisted witches. <laughs> Before they do more harm. Rest well, sailor. I'll take it from here. Should be smooth sailing. If he was still alive, I bet you'd have laughed at that. <laughs> Just so we're clear here, that now dead pirate was talking about sirens, right? As in the dangerous women that lure sailors to doom via drowning? And not the magical ladies who are very real in our world. Yep, skis, <coughs> you got it. Look at you two drawing conclusions and friends. But then. So, another fool has come to challenge us. Let us test your resolve. Oh, crap, Lord. Tougher stuff. Into the... 
<laughs> you cannot be a sweet thing such as this one. Oh, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Sisters, I believe we have found our champion. Champion. Under the spell of these coiled ladies now? Yep, gotta do whatever they say. <sighs> Sounds just like Carol. Do I even wanna know? Hell no. It all started when our eyes met across a bistro on Hedon 6. Hey, what did I just say? Hell no. Hell no. F I'm under a spell when I gotta kill you now, Claw. Come out and face your doom. Okay, you're leaving me no choice. I'm gonna kill you. the same thing on the day the Slither Sisters cursed me and my crab brethren with consciousness. Right, of course. I do have questions, though. That's all consciousness is. An endless march of questions for which there are no answers. How can you stand and live like this? It's actually not so bad. It was a rhetorical question. All I want, all we want, is to return to a blissful life of scuttling to and fro without a care in the world. Ah, what a curse it is to care. Poor cramps. Please help us. Together we can destroy the sisters. First, you must destroy the clamplifiers, their magical resonance boosters which amplify and strengthen the power of their song. suppose the crabs couldn't destroy these clamifiers themselves? Excellent question. The sisters won't be able to charm you again. I'll meet you at the lair. <laughs> Why don't you three slither out of that hole you hide in and face up? Well, if it is in our pal. Claw, claw. How's consciousness treating you, Squirt? And our champion. Hmm. We had such high hopes for you. For shame. We'll keep the crab alive to wallow in the pain of his own existence. But you... We're gonna have some fun with you. Come on, 
Thank you. You are indeed a champion. With the curse lifted, I can feel my consciousness building. Be well. Now that's a happy crab. Just scuttling around all empty of thought and stuff. She's making us read sounds super evil. What? You don't know? It could be like a recipe or something. Yeah, a recipe for people. Uh uh. Ixnay on the animalism, K. We're keeping it rated T for Tina here.
This is a bloody detailed map now that I look at it. How the hell did they chart all this? Okay, fine. I can't resist lore. What's the deal with the drowning? This city was once a beacon of civilization. A symbol of the united, coiled people. But some craved power and allied themselves with the dread void god known as Drill. When he was cast down to the depths by other gods, so too was the city dragged with him. Sounds like a real bummer. I was there in the hour of splitting. When our elders cast their lot with drill against my warnings. Since then, I have stayed as the caretaker of this place. Alone, for the maddened cries of what were once my sisters. It was the bummest of bummers.
the temple of sacrifice why don't i get the feeling we're the sacrifice ah uh, quit it sarah's cool okay yeah she's laying it on way too thick you can see the twist coming a mile away can't you even after the drowning my sisters continue to practice profane rituals i have observed their rites <laughs> and know them well we will need to light a fire why would there be a fire pit in an underwater temple? Well, uh, because it, uh, uh, surprise ambush! No! You will need a magical emberjack, a fiery fish whose flames burn even underwater. <laughs> right. But all the fish died when we blew up the ocean. Uh, fine. Then there's one in a chest right in front of you. That is one dead fish. Did it still light a fire? Wow, Valentine, I didn't know we had a fishologist in the house. It's a magic fire fish. It's got tons of magic fire juice still all up in it, okay? Does anyone pay attention to Max Carryway? itself is the sacrifice. Something about it just makes my skin. I'm sorry, what was that? Skull. It makes my <laughs> skull crawl. Ooh, are you sure that's the that's the word you wanted to use? Because there's another S word that you could use. I mean, there's still some time for a uh, spontaneous combustion. Nope. <laughs> just using a completely normal phrase that everyone else uses. Makes my skull crawl. Normal. Mm-hmm. Yep. Deep in the bowels. <laughs> you shall find that a certain archaeologist is in distress and requires your aid.
right to it, shall I? My team and I have been studying these ancient cliffs, but the coiled have been preying upon us, and I'm all that's left. Perhaps you can, um, take care of them? Like now, for instance? Jam. Well done! But that was just a raiding party. You'll have to kill all of them before we're safe. I got this. We need not resort to violence. The most powerful weapon of all is diplomacy. Hey, no one likes a good negotiation more than me, but the coiled aren't exactly conversational. And you aren't exactly not terrible to talk to. Ah, but I learned a new spell. Personify! It lets me absorb magical essence from nearby stuff and change my voice! Wait, Claptrap isn't even there. <laughs> yeah, how's he gonna do anything? Whoop, just a second. I also learned the Blink Apart spell. Who needs wheels when I've got like 15 spell slots left in the tank? Kablam, suckers! Claptrap! There's not a moment to lose! You know the magic missile? Meet me there! I love it. Sorry, that was supposed to be a 
really screwed that up, eh? Ready to try it my way yet? Yeah. Oh, no, no, none of that now. The first step to a successful negotiation is having a winning attitude. Don't be such a negative energy playing Nancy. Now, let's get some pedals to this metal. <laughs> ideas of frolicking, but okay. Yes! I can feel the power of the flowers totally blowing through my capacitors. I'm like in tune with the flower song of the cosmos. Right on, flower power. I used to ask Goyle brothers and sisters to chill out. Come on and join me when you're ready. I ever heard. And 
I once heard a dire banshee opera catch fire. Indeed. So, I suppose I have no choice. I swore I'd never stoop this low again. I'm gonna have to use my real voice. Come on. Real voice? What's that mean? Wanted peace. You can have any piece of me you want. Simmer down, girl. I'm not rated for that kind of configuration. You know, I've never constricted with a robot before. Come on, Blinkaport. Oh, damn. I'm out of spell slots. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I guess negotiations are over!
fudge that wrong. Sometimes I feel like you're the only one who understands me. about those coiled now. So, the negotiations went well? Diplomacy worked? Like a ninth level charm. <laughs> As long as I can do my work in peace, I'm satisfied. Well done! Oof! Now that there are no enemies nearby, I can finally take a long rest.
Now then, what's the most broken build I can make?
It's hack writing. Even those other idiots at the table can see through it. suspicious. Look, ugh, please, you guys will really like her if you just talk to her a little more. I am afraid I haven't been completely honest with you. Aha! I knew it! There is one last sacrifice to make. Here it comes. And I make it gladly. I will go with you. What? When my sisters fell to the temptations of drill, I blamed myself. I vow to remain in solitude for my sins. But you have shown me that passage through hardship can only be accomplished alongside friends. I will join your party and aid you on your quest. No, what? No! There has to be a twist. She's lying. The priestess's maddened sister's attack, drawn by her nefarious spells. Sisters, I defy you now, as I defy you then. You cannot stop us. Passage. You have given me hope. I will repay you in kind. With friendship. Yeah, not buying it. No, dude, she really needs it! May I have a hug? It has been so long since I felt the warmth of another on my skin. Oh. She said the S word. No, 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 she didn't. She super did, and you said. I know what I said! Oh, fuck! I never saw the sun again. There! Are you happy now? I... Uh... Here, let's all just go talk to the evil god of the deep, shall we? That sounds like fun. You did your best, Fate Maker, but you can't save everyone. Not with a bunker master like her. You 
didn't really need to kill her off. Yes, I did, because you made me. And now I have to throw out this whole story I had ready. And you know, she had a troubled past and a yearning for friendship and a whole redemption arc, and now it's gone. I don't know. I just thought you were setting up a cool fight. She would still be alive. Oh, oh, so now you care about rules. Well, here's a rule. Rule of three, bitches! Fate brings us together. 
Of course we're staying. I want to see how this ends. And maybe Kasara could even come back as a friendly ghost. Nah, she's dead. I'm over it. Quest complete! <laughs> do, do the thing where it says quest complete! You see how fragile she really is? All that fear, all that doubt. Where do you think she puts it? Right into this world. She has all of the cruelty of a god and none of the responsibility. <laughs> begins to wonder, with the world torn in two, can balance ever be restored? Is it enough to defeat evil, or must it be destroyed entirely? Level is now a towering cliff. You'll need to find a way up. 